Hello all you beautiful people and welcome to The Wire. Before we get into The Wire, I just wanted to reiterate uh, uh, information from a previous video. For those of you guys who have, did not see the previous video, YouTube is dropping the hammer hard. We are about to witness artificial intelligence scan all of our videos. Like understand that every video we publish will be scanned by an artificial intelligence and if it violates just some of their terms or one of their terms within the uh, what's it called? Uh, oh my goodness. Advertiser friendly content. It'll be demonetized and you won't have an option to say anything about it. And of course, we know what that means. Demonetize is demonized, which means they're going to shut down this channel. And that's, the, that's what's kind of at stake right now. Uh, so what we did was we opened up the opportunity for everyone to subscribe to the website exclusively and support us and support this channel for $1.50 per month. I got 2,000 uses of a discount code, well less now, but still there's, there's a lot left. So if you guys want to, the discount code is monthly half off, and don't worry, it'll all be in the description and in the comments so you guys can use it all. Look, I really appreciate, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you. You guys are, are awesome, and you guys are the, uh, in a large part of the reason why we do this. The main reason we do this is because we want to bring glory to God. We want to see his church revived because so many people have just infiltrated and stamped on it, stomped on it, not stamped, excuse me. And I really thank you all again for being there with us. Now, I know a lot of us are hesitant to use the, the resources that are with the internet. So we try and do the best we can to bring you the latest news on, on YouTube and of course on our website. And if you can't afford a monthly subscription. Don't worry, we still publish free content all the time. I would say about 90% of our content is free. 10% of it is where we spend hours, days, weeks researching it and wrap it into a video and an article and produce it and call it an exclusive. But each subscription is a support. It's supporting this channel, it's supporting this website, and we really appreciate it. Let's get into the news. God bless you. Thank you. I'm serious. Elderly Ohio pastor <clears throat> Elderly Ohio pastor was found murdered in his home. Members of Southard Baptist Church in Columbus, Ohio are grieving after learning that their pastor had been found dead in his home on Tuesday. It was definitely a homicide. Columbus Police Detective David Silsian uh, told the Columbus Dispatch. He was killed at the hands of someone else, so he did not die naturally. He is 81 years old. And let me read you what happened. Emergency responders soon checked on McDowell, but found him deceased in his bedroom. A man and his girlfriend who had been inside the garage apartment at the time of the blast, there was, a, there was an explosion, uh, were transported to OSU Wexner Medical Center, where they were treated for serious burns. It is not clear why Ricky Skinner, 42, and Jamie Raines, 40, were inside of the building. Joseph McDowell is the 81-year-old pastor. He was found after firefighters responded to a call about an explosion and a blaze inside of a garage that had been converted into an apartment. The garage sits behind McDowell's house. Now, as to exactly what took place, they're still going through it, uh, but church treasurer Polly Hendricks told WCMH-TV that there was no reason for anyone to hurt McDowell. He didn't, do any, he didn't do nothing to nobody for anybody to do anything to him, she said. I just hope they catch who done it. He said he had the best neighbors, Hendricks stated. He preached about love. He preached about compassion. He thought all his neighbors loved him. Member Bob Alford provided a similar characterization. He loved everybody and he helped everybody in this neighborhood, he said. Everybody liked him because he was there to give them a hand at whatever they might need. Hendricks outlined that life will be difficult without their pastor, but believes that the church will keep its doors open somehow. The assistant pastor had died five, just five, uh, five months ago from a heart attack. Now, might I remind you, we just did a video, I think it was a couple weeks ago, on this other big pastor, Paul Washer, who also had a heart attack. This guy was, I don't know if he was burned alive or had died. For, I don't really know how he died. They don't really uh, describe that in here. Um so I just told you about Paul Washer having a heart attack, right? Okay, well Hendricks outlined um that life will be difficult without their pastor, but believes that the church will keep its doors open somehow. The assistant pastor just had a uh, just died 5 months ago from a heart attack, okay? 
The incident follows two other recent headlines surrounding violence toward pastors. As previously reported, Rudy, the pastor of Faith Center in San Fernando, California, was attacked last month by a former member and suffered a broken hip that required replacement. Herbert Valero, 68, of Victory Outreach Church, was stabbed to death just days before as he stepped outside of his home to pray with a member. Both pastors had been working to reach gang members and drug addicts. We're being hit hard online, and that compares nothing. That doesn't even compare to what's going on here. That's three murders of pastors across the country within a very short time frame. And people still don't recognize that something's coming against the church. We were told of these days. We were told in the Bible what's going to happen. We were told of the persecution. The persecution is not to come because it's already here. I, I read an article, I think it was the Pew Research Center. I can't remember which, which where, I, where I found it, but it was about 60,000. Excuse me, 90,000 Christians last year in 2016 were killed for their faith. Christian persecution is not coming because it's already here. Last year, a report says it was the 2016 was the worst year yet for Christian persecution. America made the top list of countries where persecution is horrific. It's not because necessarily people are dying like they are in the Middle East, but the general attack against Christianity is extremely high in America. And that's a sad thing because this is the land of the free and the home of the brave. The Puritans had a big part in founding this country. This nation was practically founded on Christian values. And this nation is persecuting Christians. I want you to think about that for a minute. Now, we will see how much worse these attacks on pastors get. But just a few, four or five in the past several months... You know what? If there's, hmm, it's just hard to track. If there's any more, I was going to say I'll, I'll do a post and continually update it of how many pastors are being attacked, but it's just too hard to tell because I mean these, these are in several places across the country. So I guess we'll just have to keep reporting an instant, like uh, on an instant. But um, yeah, I mean this, this is craziness. We knew these days were coming, but they're already here. Time to wake up, church.